What is going on, guys? Panther here bringing you our APA Showdown Season 6 Week 10 battle finally against Banded Caterpie and the Carolina Caterpies. So, last time we left off, we um, we played. Who was it? It was Elite Four Dan. Um, we ended up getting the 5 of victory there. Moving to 9 0 on the season. Haven't uploaded in a couple weeks just for some uh, personal reasons going on. Been really busy at work. Um, but the playoffs have started. Um, we said at the end of last video that we had actually secured our playoff spot, but I do want to run through um, the last few games. That way we can let you guys know um, how these last three games played out. So here we're playing uh, Banded Caterpie, who is in our division. Um, he is playing for a playoff spot in this match. Um, so I wanted to bring teams these last three matches who are all against divisional opponents um, that I wouldn't bring in a, um, in a real game. Um, now, some of these sets are fun. Um, other uh, other of these sets are um, they, they can be standard sets, but I'm not I'm not playing around with the EVs or anything like that on them. I'm just basically going max max on a lot of these. Um, and, but my goal here was really to try to pick up the kills with um, with McGearna and Weevil. They were uh, in the MVP race, so I wanted to try to get as many kills with them as possible. So let's go ahead and start the battle and see how uh, this plays out here. So he decides to leave with the Iraq when it I go uh, with Mama McGear and I don't want to um to stay in or anything like that, so I just go ahead and bolt switch out into my blast force to take the what I assume to be the banded liquidation. It's definitely banded damage, and um Blast Force is basically the least useful person on my team, so I go ahead and just go ahead and sack it off here. I fire off the dark pulse, hoping to get a flinch. Um don't get that, but he's able to uh knock out my Mega Blast Voice turn two. So I'm able to go out into Weevil here and fire off just to knock off. His team's very knockoff weak. It seems very weevil weak in general to uh, pick up a kill with it. So we're able to do just that, pick up the kill. Um, it goes out into Porygon. I have a great switch into this in my Alolan Marowak. It can't really do much to me. Um, I am a rockhead over uh, Lightning Rod, so he is able to pair me. But as you can see by this damage here, he cannot. Well, so you see the crit. Um, but without the crit, I do right about 50%. So he can't sit in here and recover stall me. He just really has to kind of fish for a paralysis if he wants to be able to um, to handle my Marowak. So, um, he, he all he has to hit me is just to try attacking the Ice Beam. You know, it's not really doing much to me, but I can just I can just sit here and I can keep Flare Blitzing. Um, I've got my rocks up at this point. Uh, I just want to keep this guy low. It's not I'm not doing any recoil damage. I want to force him to um, try, try to make a uh, try to make a play here. Um, I do get the will o wisp off just for some res residual damage on it. But again, I can just keep flicking Flare Bolts. He doesn't want to bring in anything to this. Even the Noheligo is going to take a ton of damage from the Rocks and the Flare Blitz. So he's just waiting for me to get paired. I still have not gotten paired yet, which is excellent for me. But um, I am able just to, just to keep Flare Blitz. And I think I've, I've went for like eight straight Flare Blitz. He does finally get the pair on me, um, as you can see. But he's, he's trying to wear me down with the Ice Beam. Um, eventually, though, I could potentially get the crit. So... There is that. So I'm hoping to uh, just get the crit on this thing. It would be really great just to get rid of the P2 already because it does – it it really stops my Magirna, which my Magirna really matches up well against the rest of his team. So I definitely want to get rid of it. The only person I really have that can take care of it is the Metacham. So he makes a risky play here. He goes out into the um, Ampharos, which is a Mega Ampharos, and we connect the Flare Blitz and knock it out. So he's able to go out into Nihelgo here. And um, he is able to um, try to pick up the kill to get the beast boost. I didn't want that to happen, so I got into my AV Magirna, which eats that up. So um, I know he's going to switch. I believe I just go for the bolt switch here. Yep, go for the bolt switch. He did set up the toxic spikes, which is annoying for my team. But as you can see, um, still in a good shape because we're able to kind of pick up a kill here as well um, with Weevil. And that was really my main goal is just to pick up kills with my Weevil in this battle because like I said he's in the MVP race and I really wanted to get Weevil there. So we get the knockoff off or pick up our second kill of the match. Um, he brings back up the P2. I again have a perfect answer for uh, for this thing. I'm able to go right out into my Alolan Marowak here and just start spamming Flare Blitz all over again. So um, we're really just playing around with pairs here at this point. He is going to try to uh, pick up the pair on me and just keep his P2 at a rel relatively healthy amount. But as you can see, this is just kind of turning into a um, little bit of a stall war here. So 
I take the chance here on the recover, which I've, I assumed he was going to do, and I go out to my uh, my Metacham. I think my Metacham is it's either Band or Life Orb. I forget. This is a few weeks back. Life Orb. Okay, so yeah, I'm able to pick up the kill there with my Metacham. He can now go out into the Meloetta, and um, I don't know what he wants to do. I, he he likes to run a sub Calm Mind set, and I don't want to see that happen. Um, he goes for the Relic Song. He transforms. Not a big deal. I think he may be fishing for the sleep there. Um, but as you can see, we go for the floor cannon, hoping to catch the uh, fighting one. But he does transform back. Um, so I go back out to my crossbones so he couldn't change again. And I let him pick up the kill with the knockoff. Not a problem now because now uh, Weevil just gets to come right back out. Actually, I choose to go Crocodile. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I, I, I assumed I would have went uh, Weevil there. Oh, that's right. I didn't know if he was Colber or not because I hadn't seen an item yet. Figured he would be Colber, but um, was not Colber. So we're able to get a, get the kill off with my Crocodile. He is a bulky defensive Crocodile. And here, um, I know I have basically the game in the bag with Weevil. So I just want to stay in and sack off my Crocodile. Um, I go for the knockoff. Um, we did live one Hurricane at that range because we were, we were defensive. Um... And he is, uh, I believe he was Z, because yeah, he was Z, because we didn't see that. We, we know he's not Yachi now at this point either, so now Weevil cleans up the game no matter what at this point. So I, I, again, I'm content with letting um, Crocodile go down here no matter what. I can go right out into Weevil, click Ice Shard, and go ahead and win the game. So that was a, a good 3-0 victory. Moves us to 10-0 on the season, and Weevil picked up a great three kills with... Uh, 10, 10, 14 trophies. So that was huge. So um, we'll be releasing one of these one of these videos a day here for the next couple days, guys. So be sure to uh, check out all of these. Next match goes up against um, Jock and the Dumb for Lime Lemonunes, um, who is also playing for a playoff spot. So be sure to check that one next out next, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time.